on, Mike. We'll give you a ride home. I find myself riding in the back seat of a dark blue, beat up, late model Caddy El Dorado with three other teenagers, all on probation. Pit breaking and entering, burglary, receiving stolen goods, possession of burglary tools, and assault with a deadly weapon. Richie Kennefick, manslaughter. Mike Malahi, second degree murder. I don't know the driver, you're some giddy kid, Tony, I think, out of Little Italy, Arthur Avenue, Belmont or something. Nobody in the car is older than 16. Mike Malahi, the homicide, is 15. They're all high school dropouts, chronic truants. I still attend prestigious Bronx High School of Science, spending my entire school day slumped over, my head on the desk, in a puddle of my own saliva, passed out, sleeping off the previous night's latest drunken binges and the hangover. Hey, uh, where'd you get the car, Tony? My boss gave it to me! Ha ha ha! Everybody laughs but me. I'm not on probation. I'm enlisting in the United States Coast Guard as soon as I turn 17 next month. I'm high on pot and I'm drunk on cold 45 malt liquor. It's past midnight. I got classes the next day or more accurately later on this morning. What I don't have is a criminal record, at least not yet. I may be sleeping my life away, but it's still in the relative safety of a public school classroom and not on Rikers Island. Uh, Tony, is this a stolen car? No! Nah, my boss gave it to me! Ha ha ha! Everybody laughs but me. Nah, nah, nah. I got the pink slips on and everything. And the registration's in the glove compartment. Tony is maybe 16. He can't drive a vehicle legally within the five boroughs of New York City. Not without a licensed driver over the age of 18 as chaperone. So I don't think it matters that he has all the necessary insurance forms in the glove compartment. Pitt has a fake New York State license issued in the city of Warwick in rural, rural upstate New York, Orange County, that says he's 18. But again, I don't think that's going to prove very helpful. We get pulled over by the cops. Five white boys in a Cadillac cruising through a Puerto Rican neighborhood in the wee hours of the morning is bound to attract some unwanted attention from law enforcement officers. It's 1974, under the New York State Penal Code, getting arrested while riding in a stolen vehicle carries the same criminal penalties as if you were the actual offender who hotwired the car. Then Governor Rock, Nelson Rockefeller enacted the, uh, the, the harsh statute in response to a rising tide of crime statistics involving juvenile delinquents, specifically joyriding teenagers just like this jolly little motor joint. I'm not enjoying this midnight uh, excursion, not one little bit. Suddenly, I wish I had taken the D train instead and simply taken my chance with all the muggers, street gangs, and heroin addicts riding the subway at that hour. Pitt, Kennefick, Malahi, and Tony did not seem to be deterred by this draconian law at all, not one little bit. They just don't give a shit. Yeah, man, uh, check out the papers in the glove compartment, they're right underneath the 45 automatic! Careful! It's loaded! Ha ha ha! Everybody's laughing but me. Hardy fucking har assholes. I'm riding around town in a stolen car with three known teen felons with outstanding warrants, some Junior Genovese crime family wannabe with a fully loaded semi-automatic handgun in the glove compartment, and these mooks start passing around an open quart bottle of Gallo Thunderbird. No use driving if you ain't drunk, I guess. <laughs> There's no reason doing that. So much for my application to Columbia College. I'll be matriculated at the Vry Institute next fall. <laughs> I got a bail right now. Uh, you know, this here is a Claremont Park. Uh, I'm straight down East Burn Avenue from here. I'll just walk the rest of the way from here. Uh, guy, just pull over. Hey, Mike, we can drop you right off in front of your front door. No, 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 I'm good right here. You sure, Mike? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'll see you guys. I did finally enlist in the U.S. Coast Guard and obtained two degrees from Columbia University. All the other teenagers in that car that night wound up doing hard time in various correctional facilities throughout the tri-state region. Eventually, I did acquire a rap sheet myself, assaulting a police officer with a deadly weapon. But as they say, that is another story for another time. <laughs>